Hey YouTube, how's it going? Uh, today I got a video, and this one's going to be on putting some tie downs in my cargo trailer. Uh, I made a video a while back on this ramp, and it's been doing pretty well. And I figured maybe someone would want to see some tie downs. But uh, if you haven't seen my ramp video, uh, it's on my channel. Uh, you go check it out. And it's, it's been working crazy. You can see it's been getting a lot of use. But uh, I, the problem I'm having is I don't have anywhere to tie anything down. So I'm going to, I picked up these on Amazon. I think they're like 15 bucks. I'll leave a link in the description. The price or something might change between now and then. But it, it came with eight of them for, I think it was about $15 if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to go ahead and look underneath and find where to mount them. All right, so I'm going to start with this corner. You can see there's a piece of frame right here. This is, this is metal right here. So I'm gonna drill one hole in the corner and see how long of a bolt I'm gonna need. So I can probably need about a two inch bolt, but I'm gonna go ahead and drill it somewhere around right there. And I'll cut back whenever I get to it. All right, so I got a bolt to try it out. And I think the best uh, bolt for me was a two inch long and seven sixteenths diameter. Uh, I tried a 3 8 and it's just a little too loose in there. So uh, I went ahead and drilled that and time to tighten it up and we'll see what happens. Okay, first one is in and it's tight. I didn't, I left it slight, I left it, I tightened it, but I didn't completely tighten it a lot. I'm using a nylon nut so I can leave it slightly loose. So whenever I put a strap on here, it'll rotate to whichever side I need. And I'm also putting a flat washer on it um, if there's room for it. I forgot to mention on a on the 716 bolt, the uh, head is a 5 8 so you'll need a 5 8 wrench to tighten it down. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drill the rest of these, and I'll show y'all whenever I'm making some progress. All right, so here's a quick tip for y'all. If y'all are working by yourself, get yourself a pair of vice grips. Go ahead and line it up. And then you need to, you might need to give it a little. not going to be able to beat through metal better than I just put a washer on it. But if you're by yourself, just get you some vice groups. I might tighten these up a little bit. And give it a squeeze and grip them on there and then you'll let them hit the wall. And then you can go underneath and tighten it while well, that's holding. So if you're by yourself, it's a quick tip for you as long as there's a wall in here. Let's go ahead and keep going here. All right, everyone, so it's a different day now. So I kind of had to put stuff in here, but um, yeah, I had just got busy, but I just finished up the, um, the D-rings, as you can see here, um, very solid. So I work out great for whenever I go to pick up stuff like this generator that's super heavy and I can't lift by myself. And uh, you can see up in here, um, I have the two side by side. And then we got the three up front too. So I have plenty of tie down spots because before all I had was um, that one right there and that one right there and that was it. So having all these tie down points is gonna be really helpful. And hopefully, um, I mean, if you have a trailer, it doesn't have to be a cargo trailer, but just any trailer in general, I think you'd really, really enjoy having these on your um on your trailer especially for only 15 bucks and then five bucks for a few bolts and you're ready to go definitely worth the uh worth the investment but i think i think that's all for now on this trailer um i do have another trailer i just picked up so maybe i'll make a video on that if people are interested i need to build some ramps for it but um that that's all for now and then hopefully soon we'll be back to some more uh regular ATV generator content. I just, uh, just been busy with other stuff. So, uh, no time to film, but I've had quite a few projects come in, but, uh, yeah, thank y'all for watching and y'all have a good day.